Hello and guys and welcome to Action Absurds. One of my crazy back in monster videos. And in this like episode thing I am showing you a base that I've just made and I'm also gonna show you the new world map which I'm sure you like really want to know about and my general tips for what to do uh, if I can think of anything because this is relatively new to me. Uh, so on I don't really know particularly too much but I know you all you have to do it's pretty much like map room 2 just destroy everything conk everything so anyway this uh base um i'm not entirely sure what i'm going to call it well it, the base name will be up in the title of as always uh this base is uh, essentially designed for this new uh map uh room i decided that since i'd probably need a map room space uh i would need good coverage of a lot of my things and I will need a base that looks like it, it will take ages to be destroyed, and of course, paving the size of more death traps were necessary for this as well. Uh, so, it took me uh, it took me about half an hour to take the space, it's very, very quick. It's just that uh, constitution in the bases were not as effective as I thought they would be. So, I uh, changed my layout, and this is what it is now. So, as you can see, the uh, paving, uh, I don't know about paving, I haven't tested it. Uh, I only test, uh, I don't test. I tested Hydrant and I tested a few of the other bases, but I, don't, I didn't test this one. But it will be tested when players start attacking me. So, um, the NEC does somewhat work uh, on the outside. Uh, but of course, you guys probably want me to go into Yard Plan of View. Uh, just remember, as always, my tile levels are not, always, not maxed out. Um, I don't have uh, full capacity, so I can't upgrade to level 10. So this is the yard plan of view, as you probably uh, would like to see anyway. So moving on, very quick, going through this very quickly. This is the ground range, and then we have the ground and aerial range, and then we have the aerial range. Note that the ground and aerial range things are pretty much very very similar. Um, so there's not particularly too much of a difference. Uh, they do cover everything on the base. Uh, but you know, I'd say it's pretty good. The 82 coverage on this base is actually extremely good, and which is why I chose made, chose to make it like this. So instead of having like, the 80 there and 80 there, I, I placed it like this, so they have better coverage. Now I'm not entirely sure in terms of paving whether they could pave to uh, there. However, in terms of paving, they should just go they just, should just go around here and not bother with 80 at all, so they should be safe. And of course, if they've got food to here anyway, then you should have the the new base design has been poor. The monster bunkers cover a large amount. Fair enough. Part of the base, they have the uh, silent town hall death trap covered, and and one uh, ADT each. Uh, so I say they're doing pretty really well. If you don't understand any of the abbreviations, there's a back in monster abbreviation uh, guide, an updated list that you probably want to check out. Uh, go to that channel and then uh, just look for the videos for it. It's relatively new. So uh, anyway, getting back to the new map room, now notice that by clicking on the map, clicking on uh, the, your normal map room, clicking on your catapult and clicking on your flinger all bring you to the map. There is no like flinger thing, now it's instantly view map. And when you open the map, which does unfortunately take a lot longer than it did before, um, but the graphics on this map you, you will be astounded by. And look, it looks, it looks pretty epic. Now, as you can see, now I want to explain something first. Obviously, you have your main town hall base here. Okay, I'm clicking all around it. So you guys know, and of course, you can uh, view other people's stuff. So, what's been happening? Well, currently, been attacking uh, the outpost defenders, and what these are, these are kind of like miniature outposts that you have around your base. And when you cap all, once you cap all six of them, six of them, it makes it easier. For you to base the defense. So now I have captured all six. My base has a 75% defense. So when you attack a player, you can attack them with main yard, but destroying these outposts on the outside uh, make it easier. Um, I will link into the description uh, when I can be bothered to. I'll link in the description the uh, forum uh, settings. And obviously you've heard about this on Facebook as well. But uh, I'll link the forum part into this as well, so you know what it is. So obviously my base looks really, really cool with all the defenses around it. And normally you just have this defenses up here. So uh, what's on these bases? Well, they're basically not normal outposts except for you can't build or uh, upgrade anything on them. They just stay as they are. So when enemies attack them and destroy them, and then you when you take them back, 
the they get stronger and there is no uh, takeover costs for these. Now some of them, one, well, they're they're okay, uh, but there's nothing really stopping the opponent from taking over these as drawl and far more as you know usual stuff. So anyway, of course you have attacked one of them yet. I will attack one, and you will see this uh, video posted after this one. I will be drawl, so free T and some King Worms to down this base, but just completely destroy it. Or I don't know. I have, I have to see what happens. Um, so I'm not entirely sure what we need any resources. Uh, as you put on, um, I've pretty much leveled that one as well. Another thing to note: you should really want to keep your resources low. So when players do attack you, and you do have to make your base awesome and epic like mine, so that they won't be able to just have. Well, we know we also have we have strongholds, which really increases the nature of which you can attack opponents. Uh, for instance, once a cannon and it shoots as well, so you really need heavy firepower to down. Very very difficult always. Uh, these resources that uh, like generate when you take them over. So again, I will be taking a lot of these over. This is dominate much of this map as much as possible. But okay, we'll stick to our land, and that will be extremely. You see, all players have the same idea as how he's probably going to try and take over this resource outpost. So I m may want him to take over it, so I don't have to take over it myself. Uh, also, you can't attack low-level players' buildings, which is a thing that's happened before. You can't. You can't attack anything in low. Level. Just to give you an example of what you do. So if I was to, I'm going to do a quick attack now, so attack, and now on awesome things you can now scout and then attack the yard, so basically you're viewing it and then you're attacking it. Just notice how easy these bases are really are to just destroy, uh, when it loads you'll be able to see how particularly easy the base is. I know that on the light before, it, the account doesn't load uh, until you, uh, so the bases are extremely easy to destroy, however, your, your monsters will not go to the middle bits. That's the, this is like the outpost you've got to destroy um, until they've just uh, um, all the t or at least all the defending towers. So like no um, resource gatherers or anything like that. It's just all towers and one thing in the middle. So all the towers. Are, so if you want to use your PPX, you can. So as you can see, uh, this is level four drill, and he's making very quick work with all the towers. Uh, so anyway, so once you've just destroyed this, you can now enter the outpost. Now this is another player's out, uh, another player's uh, main yard defender. So I'm not entirely sure what happens here. So I'm entering the outpost, and it's pretty much the same as a. Uh, so once you destroy it, you have to start the repairs as always, and then you back to the map. Essentially, you can't build or upgrade anything, even the blocks. So don't even bother trying to look it up. Um, to make sure the buildings tab is disabled, and I'm sure some hackers somewhere will allow the buildings tab, and then we'll see lots of all weird stuff uh, going on. But now I control this part of the base. I, c I can I can I can't actually attack. I have to attack. What is this? So anyway, so you can press truces, send messages, all that previous stuff, and of course there is of course the uh, find my yard option, which is uh, going across the map. So this is what I currently own, and then I don't know if, it, if I can take over all this stuff. Um, um, obviously, having a 75% defense bonus, I probably learn something possibly about the new map room. If I want to do anything about the new map room, or anything to showcase to you, but I really like the chain that making. We got sort of upgraded our map room, um, but there's a lot of uh, questions that, that I probably haven't even answered here. But I'm very very new to this whole thing myself so I don't, probably don't know much more than you do if you've already read through the forum links in the description once you've read through them all, all I have more than you is experience of playing the game so you know it's pretty even better guys so again uh, so essentially keep resources ro low keep your defense uh, keep defenses high attack attack fast and brutally and most of all make sure you dominate because you know we don't we want to be winning out there guys and uh, unfortunately I can't jump or teleport to any of you guys, so don't bother me sending me coordinates, because I probably won't jump anyway. Um, I'm more of an empire builder, so my strategies for you jumpers out there are not really going to work. I tend to, have, like, uh, to keep all six silos and all that stuff. And uh, have my... So I currently... Your bunker's another thing, another thing very important to mention. Before you do convert to a new, like, thing. However, I, I can't remember how I converted, but I did. And, um... However you do do it, make sure that you have uh, empty bunkers and uh, juice them because you don't get you don't take any bunker monsters with you for some because they, they they tried it but they're glitched so you're gonna have to juice them. Um, 
The capacity is also increased, and it's another thing I forgot to mention, and that's pretty important. You can now upgrade your housings to level 10. Now, level 10, I'm not entirely sure what it is, but um, I'm currently grading this one, so that'll be level 6, or 7, that'll be level 7 after the time this is finished. Um, so, that would be pretty good. Again, another also final grade, and if you don't want to upgrade your tower, if you think it takes too long or it's too costly, then okay, you can always fortify your towers because your opponent obviously doesn't know that your towers are low levels. So if you fortify them, it will make oh, his base is actually pretty strong. Maybe I should try somebody else. Uh, so fortifying towers is also probably a good idea. But having a, well, at least you really want to fortify your area defense towers. Your rail guns, your Tesla towers, and your cannon towers. So the cannon can towers will have glorified health that way, um, so it slows the monsters down. Uh, my re honest recommendation is that you use a good base or use the community base if you haven't had two spurts cannons, or of course use any of my bases. You can also use this base. You're allowed to copy it. As always, um, I'm not going to play any of you anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. Unless the back of muscles up becomes a big thing. Also, back auto banking. Uh, when you do take over the resource um, outpost things, you will get auto banking. Now, I'm sure there are a lot of videos talking about the new map room, um, but this one I really want this to make myself stand out of the crowd. So if you can please like and favorite the video, um, and if you want any if you got any questions, I can answer them. I'll put them in the description and answer them or I'll reply to you. Uh, you can personally message me, whatever you want. Uh, just get just get in touch, interact. And then I'll help you out if anything you want. Or if somebody's boring you, you can always recycle in that room and try again, guys. And just uh, make sure you know that. So, uh, this is uh, essentially what happens. Uh, my most recommendation is you should, cha you should champion a lot as well. Uh, that's, a, that's a good idea. Um, since obviously they re for health and it has the uh, plus 7 every now and again. Show it champions healing. And also, your most thing you'll instantly notice is that it costs a lot more. To build monsters and monsters take a lot long time to build. Uh, that is also because you can heal your monsters. You can actually heal them. Um, of course, you only heal four monsters at a time with four housings, uh, and uh, the cost is actually quite high. Um, but you know, you can heal monsters. I mean, we've asked for that's been asked in the forum for a long, long time. Can I heal the monsters? When can I heal them? Well, you can heal them now. So you want to heal them? You can heal them. If you somewhat want to favour a single one day. And like 200 Zafariti, then you, you probably use that one day and 200 Zafariti. Uh, do whatever crazy kind of stuff you want to do, and overall enjoy the game. If you want anything, you know, again, ask me questions if you've got questions. So, uh, thank you for listening. I've gone on quite a bit. I uh, probably have gone. Most of you may have fallen asleep by now, so if you can wake up, um, please like, favorite the video, and thank you guys. And I'll see you, well, whenever I destroy that base will probably be next time I'll see you in the video. I've also got mobs coming up on my channel, so see you later guys.